Hi there, guys. My name is Scootaloo. Most of you know me. Well, you also know I don't have parents. I'm basically an orphan. Well, I guess you... I guess most of you are wondering how it happened. It's a rather long story, though. I think I'll tell you guys. Papa was a big stallion. Even bigger than Big Mac. He was an earth pony. My mama was a pegasus. I got more from her than my dad. Heck, most wouldn't believe he was my papa. Unless they looked into my eyes, we shared the same eyes. His name was Cart Driver. His special talents had been to pull carts and trolleys for miles non-stop. He would go days without taking a break, only to stop for bread and water. He drove a cart around nearly all his life. He took care of us. It did drive my mama crazy, being a cart pony's wife. Always told me she needed more to hold than just a telephone or a scroll sent by a dragon. So Papa would call her each and every night, just to make sure I and she were okay. He cared for us so much, though she would confirm that we were doing great and not worry too much and to come back safely. I smiled some when she would pass it over and allow me to talk, wish him a good night. I heard his laugh and smiled, saying he'd be back, even said he'd help me catch my cutie mark, joked saying he might let me take the cart for a, out for a swing, calling me his daredevil. It simply started when Papa hanged up, and when that happened, Mama would be gone again. That was... The saying about Mama, she was a looker, and Celestia how she shined. It was amazing, she was a glimmer to most. She was the most majestic looking mare in town, giving even Sweetie Belle's sister a run for her money. Now most would never think much of, from Papa, but he was a good stallion, but he was the jealous, had a jealous side of him. He didn't want stallions to look at Mama, or flirting. I remember when I was even smaller, some stallion grabbed my grabbed and fell to Mama's flanks for just a moment, and Mama laughed it off, thinking it was an accident. The saying was, Papa didn't take too kindly, and nearly tore the, the colt's head off. The saying that wor was worse, Papa loved Mama, but Mama loves stallions. She leaves me home for hours. It'd sometimes be late in the morning. I'd hear the front door open and Mama walks in, her clothes messed, her face red and shining grin. And never, I never understood what was going on. Mama never told me what she did so late at night. I'd never ask. So I guess it was bound to happen. I, that much, I guess. Well, it was bound to happen, and one night it did. Papa came home, and it was just me. He had a dozen roses and a bottle of wine. It really seemed like he was looking to surprise us. He was doing just fine. I heard him cry for Mama up and down the hall. That was when he called out to me, Scootaloo, where is your mother? I simply responded. She said she was going out to a bar, wanting to look, make some new friends while you were gone. That was when I heard the bottle break against the bedroom wall, and he was running down the stairs. He was mad, his eyes blazing with burning heat, as he muttered, Go to bed, Scootaloo. I'm getting your mama. I looked surprised it was when he went outside, hitching the cart up, and began driving out as fast as he could. I heard a loud explosion behind him. It matched almost what Rainbow Dash did, had done when she had performed her sonic rain boom. I never understood how he did something like that even with the cart on his back, to increase his speed. I never saw Mama again. The paper, the next day, told me what happened. Cart driver rig buried in the local motel. It seemed in the dead of night, cart driver's wife, Shamrock, had, caught, had been caught in the ho local hotel with another stallion. The desk clerk said he saw it all real clear. It seemed the cart driver never hit the brakes, and he was shifting gears. Now it is, Papa had always loved Mama, but it seemed to be that Mama loved stallions just a bit more. Now Papa's in the pen, 
and Mom is in the grave. I ended up staying home, most income and orphan, not really, wanting to talk about what happened with my parents. Saying, it was an accident, and they were both dead when Papa crashed through it. It isn't even true. So often I visit Papa, but he doesn't say much, but he does make sure I promise never hurt or cheat on my special pony, and to remember that he would always love Mama. Well guys, that was my reading of Papa Love Mama. It's also considered my 100th subscriber special because, well, I wrote the film fiction. Thought it would be fun to do, and I hope you have a great day, and thank you all 110 people who have subscribed to my channel just to listen to me. I hope you guys have a great day, and enjoy yourself. Remember, stay creative, and keep reading, or listening.